Welcome to The Reality Revolution. I'm your host, Brian Scott. And today, we are going to do a deep dive on a book that was published in 1975 by Parker Publishing. If you've listened to recent episodes, I've done the episode on Vibrasonics and Psychonics. We've talked about Walter Delaney and several of and Anthony Norvell and some of these authors that wrote these wonderful books, David Troncoso. And these books had a certain style to them, which was very interesting. It's kind of post new thought. It's what happened after new thought as the market changed. So there started to become a sort of formula for these books. They had a certain copywriting style. As we learned in the episode on Walter Delaney and the Psychonics, he was an editor. A lot of these were written by pseudonyms. We don't really know how they were written. A lot of them have interesting techniques. A lot of these books have stuff that have very new ideas and different techniques for what we're doing now really good techniques. It's the same publishing company that did Robert Stone's book, Miracle Metaphysics Power. It's a part of the same genre. So this particular one I wanted to do is written by Madeline Morris. And on the book jacket, it says that Madeline Morris is an ordained minister with the Church of Cosmic Wisdom headquartered in Hawaii. For the past 30 years, she's been actively engaged in an intense study of metaphysical and occult matters. Indeed, it was while working with the ancient and revered Huna lore of Hawaii that she learned about the miracle of the Manaforce field. She has been an active member of AMORC, the Rosicrucian Order of San Jose, California, a member with a Stara Foundation in Los Angeles, and is currently a member of the Southern California Society for Psychical Research. Now, I looked it up, and there is a Church of Cosmic Wisdom. She wrote another book called Solar Kinetics, which I might talk about. But the book in question is called The Miracle of Mana Force, Secret of Wealth, Love, and Power. And it has some pretty good interesting techniques. I wanted to give some of these techniques to you. On the inside of the book, she invites you to read the book and says what this book will do for you, stating, what is the word that God used to create the universe? What word was so powerful that it could precipitate creation of the entire cosmos? When you read this book, you will have the answer to these questions. You will find out how you can use the word to create what you desire. We are told in the Bible that we are made in the image of God. This means that we too can create. We too can use the word. A word is something that can be spoken. A series of vibrations are set up when you speak. When these vibrations are strong enough, they can travel great distances and affect many other people. This will tell you how to add power to the word. You will learn how to build up a titanic mana force field that will propel your word into the ethers with the force of a rocket. The kahunas of Hawaii had knowledge of this science. They developed a system of adding a power, which they called mana, to their petitions for help. However, until recent years, this knowledge was kept secret, and only the kahuna priests knew how to use it. But now, at last, it is being brought to you In this book, in all my years of study, I have never found a power that works as consistently as the Manaforce power. With this power at your command, you will be able to control the circumstances of your life. No longer need you be the victim of circumstances. You will learn how to send your thoughts to another person who will do as you direct, unable to resist. Jack J. used Manaforce power to bring in over $400 in one evening at Las Vegas. I will tell you how he did this, so you will be able to do it too. Clarissa made an attractive man fall in love with her before using Manaforce power. 
she had never had a boyfriend. She had been hoping to find one all her life. Fred used Manafort's power to get a new car, even though he had no money in his pocket. And Philip used Manafort's power to bring him a job that had been eluding him for three years. You will learn how these and many other people were able to change their whole lives with the use of the magic Manafort's power. You will find out why so many prayers and pleas for help have gone unanswered. Many people think if a prayer isn't answered, it is just God's will. This is not so. Haven't we been told that it is the Father's good pleasure to give us the kingdom? Mark 12, 24 tells us, Therefore I say unto you, What things soever you desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. It doesn't say that we shall receive some of them, or that God will decide which ones we shall receive. The Bible also tells us, Ye ask and ye receive not, because ye ask amiss. This clearly indicates that there is a correct way to ask for something. That being true, we must assume that all we have to do is send out our request in the right way. This book will tell you of the most powerful way to send out your requests that the Western world has ever known. These requests will come back to you fulfilled, tamped down and running over with everything you ask for and more. You will be shown how to build a powerful protective field around yourself so that nothing undesirable can penetrate. You will never have another accident of any kind once you learn this method of protecting yourself. You will see how to turn enemies into friends and if you wish, turn friends into lovers. The magic of the Manaforce power can be used to perform miraculous healings. Marilyn healed a gland that doctors said must be removed as there was no way this infected gland could heal itself. Dick used his power to heal a painful pulled ligament in his leg. He did this overnight even though something of this nature usually takes weeks and sometimes even months to heal. All of these people are just ordinary people like you and me. They are confronted with the same daily problems we all have. Yet when trouble came, each of them was able to perform a seeming miracle to overcome the trouble and get what he or she desired. This was all done with the magic of the mana force power. You, too, will find out how to overcome your problems it doesn't matter whether they are big ones or little ones. No longer will you be the victim of what life is limiting you to. You will find out how to tell life what you want, and it will obey. You will see an example of this in the case of Selma, who used mana force power to smooth out a mother-in-law problem that had made her marriage miserable for over five years. We have been brainwashed to think that we are limited by our environment our education, our parents, our health, and a myriad of other things. All agree to this extent. If you haven't learned how to exert your own control over life circumstances, you will be buffeted around like a ship without a rudder. However, this does not need to be the way of things for you. This book will show you how to reach out and take what you want. No longer will you need to sit around waiting and hoping for some windfall to come your way. Let me tell you about one of the immutable laws of life. Nothing is true for you unless you are aware of it. In other words, you can have all the ability in the world, but if you are not aware of it, it does not exist for you. Think about this a moment. This means that we limit ourselves if we do not learn what powers we really have. If we don't find out that we really can control our own destiny, then we can't control it. It's as simple as that. This book will tell you of many people who have learned the simple rules for turning on this dynamic power plant that we all have within us. You will see how the fortunes of some of them were changed overnight. You will see how ordinary people like you and me found the power that God gave them 
and used it to get what they wanted out of life. Once you discover this fantastic power and see how easy it is to use, your life will never be the same. You will have life and you will have it more abundantly as the Father intended. We are all so lucky to be born into the dawn of this marvelous Aquarian age. No longer do we need to search in vain for the secrets that will give us creative power and abundance. These age-old secrets are now coming to light so that we may all use them to bring ourselves out of the darkness of privation and continuing unfulfilled desires. This book will show you how to use those most powerful of all, the previously hidden secrets, the magnificent mana force power from Hawaii. So we don't know much about Madeline Morris, but that's how she introduces the book. And how can you not want to read more? How can you not want to have some of these techniques? So a lot of these techniques are pretty straightforward. There is not really any secret to it, but it's pretty well written and some of them definitely will work. In the beginning chapter, Mana Force Power, How to Generate MFP to Get Exactly What You Want, she begins by saying, Mana Force Power is the most powerful creative force known. In this chapter, you will learn to generate what is probably the most powerful creative force known to man. This is Mana Force Power. This amazing power works so effectively that it will carry your command to the most distant part of the planet in order to fulfill your desire. You will find after using it that you can make your every wish come true. Nothing will be impossible for you. You will see how you can get a new house even if you don't have enough money. You will find out how to get a new car by simply pulling a switch that sends mana force power out to bring it to you. The use of this power was jealously guarded by the Hawaiian kahunas for several thousand years. It was considered too potent to be given to the masses. You will be taught how to use this magic mana force power from Hawaii. You can become proficient in the use of this wonderful mana force power with just a few minutes of practice. It doesn't require long hours and days of study in order to understand how to use it. There are only four simple steps that take minutes to perform. That is all there is to do in order to put this powerful mana force to work for you. Prepare the mind for the powerful creative force to enter. Before we can put mana force power to work, it is desirable to first calm the mind and body. The best way to do this is to sit quietly in a chair for a few moments. The next step is to get rid of any negative thoughts that might be plaguing the mind. Replace negative thoughts with thoughts of something peaceful and beautiful. An example of this kind of visualization could be one of the following. 1. Imagine you are walking through a beautiful park on a warm spring day. The flowers are in bloom. The grass is green and fragrant. And the leaves on the trees are being gently rippled by a light breeze. 2. Imagine you are sitting on a little hill overlooking the ocean. See the water birds flying over the gently swelling waves. See a little sandpiper picking away at a spot on the beach. Hear a gull calling to another gull to tell him of a discovered treasure. 3. Picture yourself sitting quietly on the bank of a mountain stream, high in some wooded mountain. Listen to the sound of the water as it flows down the stream bed over half-buried rocks and around the branches of bushes growing at the water's edge. Smell the scent of the aromatic trees that stand in majestic silence all around you. Use whichever visualization that appeals to you or use one of your own. 
This kind of visualization does a number of things that will be helpful to you in learning to use Manaforce power. A lovely, peaceful visualization will calm the mind and body. It will bring in positive vibrations that will dispel any lingering negative ones that you have not been able to get rid of consciously. Simple exercise to bring in Manaforce power. The next step in the process of building Manaforce power is to build up a supply of psychic energy in your body. This psychic energy comes from the vital life force that permeates all space. It is in large quantities in the air we breathe. Since it is endowed with the form of intelligence, we can direct it with our minds. The following breathing exercise enables you to take in large quantities of the vital life force that the Hawaiian kahuna calls mana. 1. Expel all the air from your lungs. Do this by exhaling all the air that will come out. Next, using short exhaling puffs, literally push out more air. Do this until you can't get any more air out. This removes all the old air from the lungs and makes room for a larger amount of mana. 2. Pushing the diaphragm out. Fill the lower part of the lungs. Do not allow the chest to expand at this point. We want the lower part of the lungs to fill with air first. 3. Now expand the chest and fill the lungs with air. 4. Hold this air in the lungs for a very slow count of 10. Five, exhale the air as in step one. Repeat this exercise three times before going to the next step. Feel the tremendous power build. After doing the above exercise three times, hold the arms out in front of you, palms facing with the palms about six to 10 inches apart. Feel the mana force power building your hands will become warm and tingly, especially in the palms. Continue being aware of this building of the force field as you do the complete breathing exercise three more times. Be aware of the livingness of the mana you are taking into your body with the air. Your mind can contact the intelligence in the mana, which is a living life force. In this way, it can order a great deal more of the life to enter the body with the air than would normally come in. The tingly sensation that you feel in the palm of your hand is a concentrated feel of energy that has been generated by the breathing exercise and the conscious awareness of the mana that you are taking into your body. This is a living, pulsing energy field filled with dynamic power. It is just awaiting your command to tell it what you want it to do. Send the mana force power to the high self. Now that you have generated your mana force power, you will send it to the high self. Mana is the energy the high self needs to fulfill the request you are going to send it. We use nerve energy when we use our thought processes. Our high self uses mana which is spirit or psychic energy, to do its work. Since it needs very little mana for its actual existence, when it is called upon to do something extra, it needs extra energy. This is the reason for the necessity of our sending it this extra charge of mana. To send mana to the high self, we must concentrate our mana force power that we have generated. Mentally collect it into a round ball of sparkling, swirling white light. Draw this ball of light in through your solar plexus to the center of your body. Now send it up to a point about six feet above the head. Visualize a shaft of light traveling up through the top of your head to the high self. 
you should feel a tingling in your head as this takes place. This is the mana passing up through your head on its way to the high self. Tell the high self what you desire. The mana is sent to the high self along with a picture and description of what you want. To do this, sit quietly and send your picture encased in a shaft of pure energy to a point about six feet above the top of the head. The shaft of pure energy is more of the mana force power you have generated and are now sending along with the picture to the high self. Now put your desire into words that will tell the high self exactly what you wish to have it bring you. Don't plead. Just tell it what you want it to do for you. Next, thank the high self for bringing this request into fruition. When you have given the high self its instructions, you have spoken the word. Now speak your command. Pull the switch to make your desire a reality. After you have told the High Self what you want, command this order to go out into the cosmic where it will be created for you. I command that this be done. It is my wish. I have spoken the word. Speak this command very forcefully. You really mean it. You will not stand for disobedience to your command. This is the attitude you must have. Remember, you are the Creator. Do not feel that you are usurping God's power when you create something for yourself. God is still in his heaven, but he did give you the creative power as he gave it to all mankind. This creative power was given to you to use. This ability to create was never meant to be allowed to atrophy and die unused within you. So use your command joyfully and forcefully knowing that it is your God-given right to use it. It is done, so be it. Watch your wish come true. After you have sent your command out, say these words loudly and forcefully. It is done, so be it. I have willed it so with my full will. This signifies your acceptance before the fact. This is the message in Mark 12, 24. Therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, when you pray, believe that you receive them, and ye shall have them. This verse tells us that we must believe we have received what we ask for before it is manifested in the material world. What else can this mean except that we ask for is created then and there in the cosmic, and it will be only a matter of time before we see the evidence in the material world. Once we realize this, we can truly say, It is done so be it. Use magic house magnet and mana force power to get a new house. Suppose it is a new house that you want and right now you don't have the money to buy it. Your family has outgrown the old house and you really want another one. This is when you will use the magic house magnet ritual. 1. First decide on how many rooms you want and what kind of of room each should be. You might want three bedrooms, a den, two baths, a kitchen, and a service porch. Endow your house with whatever decorations you want. Visualize the yard and the type of neighborhood. Does it have a double garage or a carport? Put everything in this house that is important to you. Two, next build up your mana force power to energize your command and to give your high self the necessary power to do its part in turning your desire into a reality. The next step is to sit quietly and send this picture of your house to the high self. Visualize it traveling up a shaft of white, energized light to the high self a few feet above your head. Next, you might say something like this, My high self, create this house for me. It is my strong desire to have this house. My family needs this house so we can live more comfortably. If there is something I must do to make this house a reality, tell me what it is. I now turn this problem over to you, knowing that you will take care of it for me. Thank you 
my high self. You will note that you are to ask your high self to tell you if there is anything you should do to make this house a reality. This house is not likely to drop from the heavens onto your lot. You will probably be involved in some manner in making it come to you. By giving the high self the above instructions, you will be shown what you are to do. Try not to guess how this will happen. It could come in a way that you know nothing about at this time. Remember, our Father has told us, I have ways ye not know of. So just keep yourself open to anything in the way of an idea that may come to you. 5. Now it is time to speak the word or send out your command. It could be something like this. I command this house to come to me. I command it with my full power. This must be done because I command it. So be it. It is done. Use a strong, positive tone of voice when speaking this command. Remember, you are the creator. This last point is one of the most important and probably the hardest thing to do. Now that you have contacted your high self and given your command, cast all thoughts of this house out of your mind for the time being. Know that you have put the wheels in motion for creating your house. Know that it will come to you. It must come to you because its creation has already been started. There is only one thing that could keep this house away from you, and that is if you were to let doubt creep in. Doubt tells the high self that you really didn't mean to actually create this house, so you are, in effect, canceling your order. Do not plant the seed and then dig it up to see it if it is growing. Know that it is growing and go on with the daily business of living. Remember the admonition in Mark 12, What things soever ye desire when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. The underscore is mine. This tells us very clearly that we must have faith in our ability to create with the word. What is it you want? Be specific. Before you start to use amount of force power, decide exactly what it is you want. Think it out thoroughly before you start to put your command into action. Remember the words you use in your command can be likened to a pattern for something to be manufactured. If the pattern is only half formulated, how can the end product that is made from it be complete? If you were making a blueprint for a house and left off the front door, wouldn't the completed house be minus a front door? Or if you worked from a dress pattern with no sleeves in it, wouldn't your finished dress have no sleeves? If you were going to order a car, the salesperson would have to know a number of things before he could complete the order. If you just gave him the make of the car, this wouldn't be enough information for him to fill your order. You would need to know what color you want, if you want power steering, what body style you like, and if you want white sidewalls. How about a radio and a heater? Will you want these items? He would need this information and much more before he could fulfill your desires in your choice of the car you want. The same kind of situation holds true if you are ordering anything you want. You must be specific. This is especially true in using mana force power and sending your order out into the cosmic. Tell your higher self exactly what it is you want. And if it is money that you are asking for, name a specific amount. Don't leave it up to the high self to decide what's best for you. Remember, you were given the creative power and the free will to direct it. You were also given the responsibility for making your own decisions. God will not make them for you. Your high self will not take the responsibility of making decisions for you. I can't tell you how many times I've heard someone say something like this. If it's God's will, I'll get that new house. When someone makes a statement like this, we can only presume that he believes that God may not want him to have a better house to live in. How preposterous this belief is. God couldn't care less whether we have a new house or not. Why should he? He gave us the power to create what we want from life. 
and the free will to use it. If we choose not to use this power, is it his responsibility to give us what we want anyway? Of course not. So decide exactly what you want and set the wheels in motion for getting it. You and you alone must decide what you want, how much, and any other specifics pertaining to what you are asking for. Now that you have decided what you want, put it into words. Do this in the same manner and just as thoroughly as you would if you were going to order it from a salesman. Fortify your desire with mana force power and send it on its way to fulfillment. After deciding exactly what you want, fortify this desire with mana force power and send your order to the high self. Next, speak your command that your wish be fulfilled and then put it out of your mind, knowing that the creation of your desire has been started. This powerful mana force power will carry your command to the far corners of the earth if necessary to bring you what you have asked for. How mana force power can control things in the physical world. Everything that is man-made and exists in the physical world was first an idea in the mind of man. A person cannot build a house without first planning it out in his mind. He cannot build an investment program without working it out in his mind first. In fact, one cannot so much as cross a street without visualizing it in his mind. Every creative act is born in the mind and then mental direction becomes a reality. Now let's see how this works in a more concrete sense. Suppose we wish to improve our financial status. We could go out and try to find a better job or we could look for some way to supplement our present income. Of course, with either of these plans of action, we would be limited to what was available in our immediate sphere of action. We would also be limited by what our minds could conceive with our present level of consciousness. Now let's see what would happen if we built powerful mana force power and directed it to bring us the amount we want. Our mental forces would conspire with the subconscious mind or minds of other people who were in a position to help us. We might not even know these other people. Distance is no obstacle to the subconscious mind because it functions outside the boundaries of our three-dimensional world. It can reach out and in an instant of time contact another subconscious mind in another part of the world. Through this process of mind travel, we can place a thought in the subconscious mind of another person. This thought can filter through to the conscious mind of this second person and cause him to act according to the thought he has received. He wouldn't even know that the thought originated somewhere outside his own mind. Let us suppose that we wanted a new car but had no money for a down payment. We would not let this deter us. We would use the magic car magnet ritual. The first thing we would do is to give our subconscious mind a picture of the car we want. We must give no thought to cost if we really want our subconscious to bring us this car. After we have given a detailed picture of the car to our subconscious mind, we will completely release the thought. At this point, we know it is going to be made a reality for us. Next, we create our mana force power and command that this car comes to us exactly as we have pictured it. Now, once again, release the thought. We know this command has gone out to the cosmic sea of thought that surrounds us. It will be picked up by someone who can bring about the circumstances for us to get the car. How can this happen? You might ask, well, somewhere, somewhere might not be able to make the payments on his car, which is exactly the car you want. Your command might reach his subconscious mind. He could get the thought to advertise his car for sale, asking only that someone pick up his payments and take over the car. In this way, his credit stays good because his car is not repossessed. You see the ad and presto, there is your car exactly as you visualized it. This seems like a miracle, but it's just the law of the speaking of the word at work. You will note that this time we didn't use the high self to actualize our desire. 
when the desired object is a single thing such as this car, we can use our subconscious mind alone. How Alice saved her woman's club building with mana force power. Let me tell you about a seemingly impossible situation that Alice T worked out with mana force power. Alice knew she was in for a very rough day. She had called together the fundraising committee of the women's club. As president, she had the responsibility of raising the funds needed to pay off a second trust deed on the club's historical headquarters. The amount needed was large and only two months remained before the loan became due and payable. Alice had worked with individual committee members, but this was to be the first group meeting. There were two plans under consideration and it was vital to select one that would raise the money in the allotted time. The problem was that two of the most qualified members had developed a personality clash that threatened to disrupt the entire project. Alice looked forward to this meeting with a great deal of trepidation. As soon as the four members of the fundraising committee arrived at Alice's house, she called the meeting to order. She opened the meeting by asking for comments on the two fundraising plans. Within five minutes, the meeting had developed into a sparring match between the two unfriendly members. They would not listen to what the others had to say and seemed only to be trying to outdo each other. As she watched the antagonism grow between these two women, she tried to think of some way to calm them and turn their energies into a more constructive direction. Suddenly, she thought of using Manaforce power. Perhaps there would be some way she could use it to create a feeling of understanding to replace the antipathy of the two warring members. Perhaps, she said to the group, a change of pace is what we need to get our thoughts together. Why don't each of you write down your reasons for the plan you support while I fix some coffee? She gave each of the members paper and a pencil and went into the kitchen. After she was fixing the coffee, the thought had earlier returned. Why not use the mana force power to solve this personality clash? All right, she thought, I will. She plugged in the coffee maker and then went out to the small rose garden just off the patio. There she generated the mana force power and sent out her command that there be peace between the two women. In a few minutes, she knew she had accomplished her task. She then rejoined the others in the room. As she set the coffee tray down, she said, now I want to hear what you have written. I want each of you to listen closely too. It took each person about two minutes to read what she had written when the last one had finished. There was a long pause. The first person to break the silence said, My goodness, Mary, that is a wonderful idea you've explained. Mary replied, Thanks, Gwen. Your ideas are so close to mine that together we'd make a quite a team. Alice felt a surge of joy. Once again, she had witnessed the miracle of mana force power at work. Gwen and Mary were the same two women who had been arguing tooth and nail only a short time earlier. How Claire used Manaforce power in the Magic House magnet ritual to find another apartment. One of the most impressive examples of a person getting exactly what she had visualized happened to Claire J. She had the problem of finding a new apartment. Poor Claire had lost her job and was evicted from her old apartment. She was staying with her sister until she could find another one. She had been promised a job and now was concentrating on the new apartment. I had worked with her and explained the theory of Manaforce power and how to use it. So with plenty of time on her hands, she decided to build a force power to help her. She told me she devoted several hours to thinking about the kind of apartment she wanted. She visualized every detail, including the window placement, color of the walls, the view, color of rugs and drapes, and even the shape of the bathtub. She tried to picture it as real as if she had recently visited such a place. After building a complete picture, she sent it off to her high self with Manaforce power and gave the command that this apartment was to become available to her. She sent the command out with as much force as she could muster. It was exactly 16 hours later that a friend called and said he was leaving for a job in another city. 
and asked Claire to come and see her before she left. Claire agreed to meet that afternoon. They had lunch and spent an hour or so remembering old times together. I'm really sorry for one thing, her friend said, and that is leaving my nice apartment just when I have fixed it all up. She went on to tell Claire about the decorating she'd done when Claire told her she was looking for an apartment nothing would do but for her to go to see her friend's place right then. To make a sweet story short, the apartment was exactly the one Claire had visualized, even to the bathtub. The lease was paid in advance, and her friend let Claire take it over. She didn't have to pay anything for two months. Claire found her apartment by using Manafort's power. Now she goes on to document a case where somebody gets a car and another one where they get a house where they do the Manafort in groups, bringing the light down, and it's very powerful and effective. So you might be able to use this in groups even more. She goes on to say, you will find the Manafort power very easy to generate and use. You will find it is the simplest and yet most effective way known to create anything you want. After you use the visualization exercises a few times, you can eliminate their use. These exercises are designed to help quiet your mind and reach a state of mental creativity. Once you get the feel of this mental state, you will be able to will yourself into it immediately without any visualization exercises. Whenever we learn to do something new, it is often necessary to go through a few more steps than we would use after we become more experienced. This is the case in the use of the Manafort's power. The first few times we generate this power, we need to help getting into the high mental state. However, once we learn what this state is, we no longer need the visualization aid. You will only need to do the breathing exercises once or twice to find out that it only takes a few minutes to take the six deep breaths necessary to generate the force power of mana. It takes only a moment to tell the high self what you want. In another moment or two, your command can be on its way to fulfillment. You don't need special psychic powers to use mana force power. The only thing you need in order to put mana force power to work for you is the courage to send out a command for what you want. It doesn't matter whether it's a new house or car, anything you might desire. All you have to do is ask for it and then wait confidently for mana force power to bring it to you. There is no way the special psychic powers could make this work more effectively. The mana is there for anyone to use. You only need to know the laws that govern its use. These laws are already known. Four simple steps and the magic mana force power makes you desire a reality. One, the breathing exercise. Six deep breaths to store mana and build up a powerful force field. Two, send a picture of what you desire to the high self. Three, tell the high self exactly what you want. And four, speak your command. These four steps should take less than five minutes to perform. They are all that is needed to put the most powerful creative force known to work for you. Anyone can do it. You can use this greatest of all creative powers to bring you a life filled with all the good things you deserve. There are many more techniques that are located in the book. For instance, in chapter eight, Mana Force Magnetics, how to attract and hold love in your life. There are several rituals in here. I will avoid reading success stories, but just know she has tons of success stories for each of these techniques. We begin with the magic mirror ritual. A mirror can be your faithful assistant in this search for a new, more attractive you. It will reflect back to you the person that you believe yourself to be. So the first matter of importance is to really convince yourself that you are attractive. At every opportunity, look at yourself in the mirror. Tell the image that you are looking back at you, how beautiful or handsome you are. You might say something like, you beautiful or handsome creature every time i look at you you become more attractive soon it will 
seem that the image in the mirror truly becomes more beautiful as it glows from the praise being directed at it. This is exactly what does happen, but it is happening to you. Every time you make your affirmation to your image, your low self becomes more and more convinced that you really are a lovely person and whatever it believes it causes to happen. What you really are doing is bringing up some heavy artillery in your conquest of your low self. I promise that if you follow the instructions I have given you, you will become more attractive with each passing day. This is truly a magic formula that works. This transformation won't take long to accomplish. Just use your mirror several times a day and repeat the affirmation. You will notice a change taking place within a couple days. Within a few more days, other people will begin to see the change in you. I have seen the most remarkable changes take place in persons who have used this technique. The principle involved here is that a visual image is more powerful than words alone. The subconscious mind of the low self is impressed by the impact of the mirrored image accompanied by your strong affirmation. Remember, it has very limited reasoning powers. When you tell the low self that the image looking back at you is becoming more beautiful every day, the low self begins to believe it. What the low self believes it brings about, it is just that simple. So don't hesitate to make your affirmations good and strong and positive. Say it as though you really mean it. The transformation will start to take place at the moment you really believe that you are saying. It is in that moment you will have convinced the low self. So speak your affirmations with authority and belief. I promise you rewards beyond anything you can imagine. In another section, she explains how to generate a man of force field. Now you have convinced yourself you can attract the man or woman of your choice the next step is to set about doing something about it. The first step to take to accomplish this is to generate a force field of mana. The following steps will bring this about. 1. Take six deep breaths. Hold each breath as long as you can do so comfortably before you take the next one. Tell your low self to form a bubble of sparkling white light visualizing this bubble of light out in front of you. See it pulsate as it grows more vibrant by the minute. Magic love magnet. Now feel the emotion of love. Feel your being. Take a few moments to generate this love. Feel that you are overflowing with love. Next, direct this love into the bubble of Manaphor's power you have placed in front of you. Keep generating more love and direct it into the bubble. See the bubble change to a soft pink. This is the color of love. You do not need to have the eyes to open for this. You can see the pink color and see the bubble of mana force power with inner eye. At this point, your whole being should be vibrant with love. Your eyes will probably fill it with tears. Let this love keep welling up within you as you direct it into your bubble of mana force power. Now your bubble is filled with love and you are filled with love. You are now ready for the next step in bringing a loved one to your side. Magnetize the mana force field. Now you've created a beautiful force field of love and power. However, at this point it is still impersonal. The next step is to magnetize it with your own personal vibrations. This can be done in the following manner. 1. Take three deep breaths, holding each one as long as you can before taking the next breath. 2. Hold your hands out in front of you, palms facing the bubble. 3. Mentally place yourself inside the bubble. Stay there for a moment or two while your vibrations become part of the bubble. 4. Now mentally step back into your own body knowing that some of your personal vibrations are in the bubble. You have now made of this bubble a very personal entity that is part of you. It is filled with love and the power to project this love to another person. Since it now has your vibrations, it also has the power to make the person to whom it is sent return your love. Love begets love. When this bubble of love surrounds the person you wish to win, 
he or she will be filled with love since your vibrations are in this bubble the love the other person feels will be directed toward you you will literally become a magnet drawing this love toward you all right everybody just put a comment if you try this and it works and i will make this into a full complete meditation send out your command it is now time to send out your command that will propel your magnetized bubble of love to the person you are seeking to win take the following steps to bring this about one take three deep breaths holding each as long as you can before taking the next this will build up your mana force power two hold your hands out in front of you palms facing the bubble three speaking these words i command this bubble of love to go to name of your loved one i command it to settle around her or him and fill her with my love i command it to make her love me in return i command this with my full soul power so be it it is done when you speak these commands use a very forceful tone of voice speak them like commands don't be timid about ordering obedience you have the power to propel the bubble of love to anyone in the world make this known be commanding it is your will that will bring about your desire you are not pleading or asking someone to do something for you you are commanding that it be done it is you who has this power the mana force power you use to propel the bubble of love will obey your command it will take the bubble where you direct but you must let this wonderful mystical power know that you are in command by doing this you are adding direction to your mana force power this is all that is needed to send it on its way to your designated destination give orders to the low self now you are ready to give your directions to the low self tell it you wish to win the love of the person you have chosen you can ask it to contact the subconscious mind of your loved one to prepare it for the bubble of love you will be sending remember your subconscious mind is capable of contacting the subconscious mind of any person in the world and you can control this wonderful mind of your low self so it is within your power to control the subconscious mind of another through direction given to your own low self so at this point tell your low self to go out and enter the mind of your loved one and make him or her fall in love with you if you follow the instructions i have given you you will win the person of your choice your low self will obey you because it wants to give you what it believes you desire up to this time you have prepared the low self to believe that you are attractive and worthy of the love you seek so when you ask it to go out and bring the one you love to you it will obey you this is the reason why i've given you the rituals for convincing the subconscious mind of your beauty and desirability because of these beliefs of your low self it will now do your bidding it now believes you desire and deserve the person of your choice now you can sit back and indulge in a beautiful fantasy visualize your loved one coming to you with outstretched arms hear her or him say i love you feel the presence of this person with your whole being know that at last you two have come together in a union of love feel the joy and ecstasy you know you will feel when you really are united with the one you desire let this joy fill your entire being know that it is already happening give thanks to your low self for bringing this about the last step is the most important here you are adding the power of visualization and emotion you are seeing the act is already completed this adds another powerful metaphysical principle to your ritual faith this step of visualizing your loved one coming to you is to be repeated until it actually happens i promise you you will attain your desire if you follow faithfully the plan i have laid out for you in another one she has a chapter on of protecting yourself from psychic attack so she says how to put the magic shield of protection around yourself 
with the use of mana force power it is possible to surround yourself with a powerful force field that no psychic attack can penetrate this protective shield should be formed every morning to keep you from harm if you will follow these few simple steps it will be as though you are wearing a suit of armor nothing of a negative nature will be able to come through it one take six deep breaths holding each as long as you can before taking the next two during the last three breaths hold the arms out in front of you palms facing feel the mana force field build three form this dynamic force field of mana that you have generated into a bubble of sparkling white light with you in the center of it make this bubble extend about six feet out from your body in all directions know that it is a field of positive living vibrations that will protect you from evil of any kind give your command say I am encased within my bubble of protection nothing of a harmful nature can get through to me nothing but good can come to me so be it it is done I command this with my full soul power that is all there is to the powerful ritual of protection you will find that after doing this ritual you will feel a great sense of security this is because you will know that you are truly protected from harm the principle behind this ritual is quite simple the bubble of mana force power becomes a living wall of positive vibrations encircling your body thoughts and events of a negative nature cannot get through you have put up an invisible shield of protection around yourself the vibrations from your verbal command have also become a part of this protective shield the mana in the force field has been ordered to keep out all negative things and it will do as it is told remember mana is vital to life mana is a vital life force that has intelligence therefore it can be guided with the mind it can be ordered to perform a certain task and it will obey this is the reason that your command is so powerful how to dissolve a psychic attack with mana force power when you are under direct influence of a psychic attack your aura is filled with negative thought forms these attach themselves to you like leeches they draw on your vital life force in order to dispel the effects of the psychic attack we must get rid of the ugly negative thought forms that have become lodged in our aura we do this by first weakening their hold on us one picture a pure clean mountain stream coming in through the top of your aura about three feet above your head see it move down through the head and on down through the body all the way to your feet visualize it carrying away all negative thought forms as it washes down through the body and out into the street keep up this visualization until the water runs clean and pure filled only with positive vibrations two by this time most if not all of the negative thought forms will have become loosened and washed away if any do remain they will be greatly weakened by the flow of positive vibrations that the visualized water brought into the aura to make sure that no negative thought forms can remain we will now build a powerful force field of mana around us this is done by taking the six deep breaths holding each for as long as you can before taking the next breath feel the force field build with the arms outstretched in front of you and the palms facing now put yourself in the center of this wonderful vibrant positive field of mana three now speak your command that will loosen the hold of any remaining negative thought form say in a forceful voice I command that all that is harmful or negative leave me now I command that all negative thought forms be completely destroyed this instant it is done so be it I command this with my full soul power after you've spoken this command I assure you not one vestige of any psychic attack can remain 
it would be impossible for any negative thought form to exist in the atmosphere you have just created. A word of caution, do not send the psychic attack back to the person who sent it to you. If he has surrounded himself with a shield of protection, the thought form would merely return to you because it could not penetrate his armor. Incidentally, this happens when you build a bubble of protection around itself. Any psychic attack launched at you will return to its sender, if it can't get through to you. For this reason, always build a bubble of mana force power to protect yourself from future attacks after you have dissolved a current one. In another part of the book, proceeding with a ritual of cleansing and relaxation, there is a technique for magic healing light with mana force power. If you follow the next steps, she says, she promises you results that will amaze you. One, empty the lungs of old air as outlined in the breathing exercise. Two, take six deep breaths, holding each one as long as you comfortably can do so. Take each following breath, immediately holding each until six deep breaths have been taken. After three breaths have been taken, extending the arms in front of you, palms facing. As you take the remaining three breaths, feel the vibrant mana force field build. After six breaths, your palms should tingle noticeably. Send this mana to a spot about a foot above the head. As you send it up through the head, see it form itself into a ball of brilliant white light filled with millions of particles. Each of these particles is charged with a gigantic force of power almost beyond human imagination. Now, slowly, ever so slowly, bring this ball of scintillating, fully charged magic healing light down through your body. Let it rest in the head, healing the eyes, ears, nose, and throat. If the arms need healing, bring it down through each arm. Next, let it rest in the shoulder area a moment before going into the chest. Here it can go into the lungs, the heart, the stomach and the back. Now bring it into the area of the solar plexus and the lower abdomen so it can come in contact with any of the organs in this part of the body that may have a malfunction. You can now bring it first down one leg and into the foot and then down the other leg and then into that foot. Now form another ball of magic healing light. First do the deep breathing and then form the ball of light above the head. This time brings this fantastic ball of brilliant power into what you believe to be the affected area of your body. Let it stay there for about three minutes. Now for a third time, form a ball of magic healing light and bring it down through the whole body as in steps one, two, three, and four. Your healing ritual is completed. You may use this as often as necessary until the illness has disappeared. Please put in the comments if you try this. Uh, you can do it by yourself. You don't need help. And it's a great idea. We've covered health. We've covered love. Clearly, you can use this for money in the same manner. This wonderful book has a number of different chapters that go even further. More ways to build the shield. Additional return to me love rituals and magic energy transference rituals. Now, you can mock these sort of books, and I get that. There is a certain style to it. She's not teaching anything that's probably very kahuna. But maybe. Breath has always been intricately involved with what we do. I do believe that every breath is a wish. So when we regulate our breath in conjunction with our thoughts, Amazing things happen. You can only imagine how much mana Wim Hof has. But I'm definitely going to try the six breaths the way that she described after emptying out my lungs to build up my mana and going to try this. I like how she communicates with the higher self. I don't think you need to be mean to your higher self, 
but your higher self wants to help you and you can ask your higher self to help you and thank them you can command your higher self and so you may not want to manipulate somebody into loving you if that's not your thing but there's a technique here and some people believe that works that's one that might work it sounds to me like it works but if you know particularly anything about kahuna power or mana power or is that something that she invented she did live in hawaii i did look up the cosmic church and it did exist but we don't really know anything about her this is very well explained it's the law of attraction and it's exactly uh, what we've been talking about in all of the podcasts but this has some subtle differences in it and some things that you can use in those techniques that are very powerful i do think creating balls of power both as a visualization exercise as a healing exercise is incredibly powerful i've always connected my breath when i do that but i've never held my breath six times after emptying it out and clearly we live from our breath the breath is powerful we take it for granted what if when you die you find out that every breath was a wish and you wasted them all and imagine how many wishes you could have had fulfilled but the man of power book i just really enjoyed her writing style i found it was interesting it was fun to read and these books just fascinate me and i can certainly read more chapters from here if you're interested i may uh, take a look at her book solar kinetics and i'm on the lookout for books like this if you find one let me know in the comments and maybe i can take a look at it and reading it for the podcast i've tried to find madeline morris or who she really is or her family or anybody as i only read a portion of a chapter of this in this particular time but if anybody knows madeline c morris and has more information then let me know i would love to reach out to her and her family which is more likely and to find out how she really used these techniques and the story behind her books but i hope you enjoyed it and i enjoy going on these little adventures with different books some obscure but they all carry some promising information and techniques that when used are very powerful i am pulling in some mana power now and i'm going to send it to every single person that is listening or watching today's episode right now within the vibrations of my voice the mana power is seeping into your mind and body and i will continue to do these rituals and i will send them out to everybody that's listening and i will ask my higher self to send this out so that you can find love improve your health find money and find god and your true self and that's all i want for you everything because you deserve it in any case all episodes of the reality revolution can be found at the reality revolution.com welcome to the reality revolution <laughs>